How's it going guys? Balder here and I'm currently in the Cessna 172 and this is a quick video I want to make in preparation for the upcoming Flight Simulator 2020 release particularly with the joystick controls. What do I mean by that? Well there are a lot of joystick options out there but one of the things that you do need to take into consideration is rudder either rudder pedals or a joystick that has a twist stick something doesn't matter you need something to control the rudders with and it's very important in aircraft so for those of you who do not know which probably isn't a lot of people most people know what the rudder is the rudder is the thing in the back that will sway either left or right to control the yaw of an aircraft it's important for several reasons for example taking off in a single engine propeller plane there is this thing called torque and the p-factor and a lot of things that you need to take into consideration. Basically, imagine a toy submarine that's really crappy. Notice how the hull is going to be moving the opposite direction of the propeller. For an aircraft, it's going to be the same way. So in order to correct for that, you would normally add a little bit of right rudder to maintain center. You don't want to correct with the ailerons because, well, that will disrupt the airflow in the wings a little bit. So, with that in mind, there are several things that I want to point out when it comes to the rudder. I'm going to be flying over to the coast and, it, and I am going to be performing what are called power off stalls. Also for the record, I am going to be disabling the rudder. Notice how the rudder movements are pretty much minimal to non-existent. The reason being is so I don't have a rudder when I perform these stalls. And you'll see why that's such a big issue. So, moving on, we're going to be going over some stalls. Alright, so now that I'm at altitude, I'm going to start my 180 degree turn to the opposite side, give me a little bit of distance between the city and the plane. Reason being is that in real life, I mean, it's a common courtesy. Nobody expects that a stall will go wrong, but in the very rare circumstance that it does, these people will not be affected. Now, with that said, I'm going to be going over what a power off stall is. So what we would be doing is that we'd be bringing the power back, we would add three notches of flaps, and when these notches of flaps are in place, we will power down all the way to idle, pull our nose up, and then we will try to recover from a stall, mind you. This is with out any type of rudder and I'll explain the differences once we get into this. Alright, so currently we're in slow flight. That's going to be changing very soon. Power is pulled back. We're stalling. And whoa, would you look at that. Nose down. Quite a bit of altitude lost. So yeah, we were able to recover, but at the same time, the recovery was pretty lackluster. See, we lost several hundred feet of uh, altitude, and in a landing situation, this could pretty much kill us, especially since we'd be no d nose down in the lawn or something like that. Alright, so, pulling that out of the way. We're going to be doing another uh, clearing turn. That's what they call it. This time we are going to be turning closer to the coast. Pointed towards the coast a little bit, but we'll still be giving ourselves enough time to perform the stall before going over the town. So in this circumstance, I'm just uh, preparing the plane 
into slow flight. Slow flight is basically a configuration for landing without landing. If that makes sense. So all the flaps are put in. And what we're going to be doing now is that we are going to be doing this clearing turn. Notice that you really don't need to bank the plane all that much to turn on a dime when you're in slow flight. That's something you should be taking into consideration and it would be very helpful especially if you are landing. Alright, so with that said, let's go ahead and try our power off stall with rudder and we'll see the difference. Alright, so same thing, throttle pull back, nose up, you have a stall. Notice how it's a lot more shallow. The reason being is because we have this P factor, we have this torque that's wanting to get us to bank to the right. With rudder, you can keep it center and not worry about the left. We lost maybe 10 or 20 feet to doing this. And if this were a situation where you are landing, that is something that could save your life. So with that said, use a rudder and buy rudder pedals or a joystick that has some type of twist mechanism. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, you have a nice day.